Hey guys, welcome back to another little mini chit chat video. Um, so this is gonna be like a little mini reaction video. It is Vlogtober day. I don't even remember. It's day twenty one. Vlogtober day twenty one. Happy Monday to everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope everyone's week is off to a great start. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it quickly. Um, I just got up and you can hear it in my voice not too long ago and I'm just kind of, you know, getting my day started. So I'm flipping through and I come across my fave, The Tea Room, and she's reacting to um, the whole Danny and Corey situation. So if you guys are not aware, um, they broke up got back together they were spotted out bowling or whatever uh not bowling um playing um playing golf it looks like it was at top golf or whatever and everybody assumed i know i assumed that you know things were smoothed out you know in their toxicity that it was back to normal well apparently um it went left all the way again because now the Danny girl is exposing all of Corey's business, okay? Driving around in cars that are the people are trying to repossess because the car payments are down, um, who's broke, who don't have no money, who this, who that, this and the third. Um, she released all his personal information. I mean, social security numbers, everything on Facebook. I'm not even sure you can legally do that. Isn't that called doxing or whatever? Anyway, um, so all of that is going on. You guys can definitely check out the link. I'm going to leave it in the description. Um, you guys can go over and check out the video on the tea room so you guys can get the full gist. I'm not going to get into all of it because like, it's a lot, right? Uh, my video I wanted to talk a little bit about karma right and I'm speaking specifically about Corey um, this is the thing when somebody is a narcissist and I'm speaking from life experience you guys know I don't do no reaction unless I can personally relate to what's going on okay so I can give you some context um, I was with a narcissist for 10 years I realized I was with a narcissist maybe like five years in, <clears throat> right? And um, I had to learn, I had to learn about that personality. I had to learn how to handle that. I had to learn how to defeat that and break the cycle and all of that. It is not, it is not as easy as people would think when you're dealing with a narcissist, especially somebody who's a chronic narcissist. There are different levels to narcissism. Um, and I had to learn all about that. They're, you know, they, they operate in different ways and no two individuals are the same, but they do have very common traits. Um, the gaslighting, the manipulation, the emotional, um abuse the control issues all that stuff kind of you know it's kind of common um uh, a common trait that these individuals share um this is what i learned over the years karma comes in many different forms when you're dealing with people that are like you know severely wicked um you'd be expecting their karma to come in sometimes people think karma is going to come like you're going to go broke um or you're going to have an accident or like you know the things that you were doing to the other person they're going to now be done to you um and all of that can be true karma can come in many different ways but i have noticed over the years that karma comes sometimes in the form of an individual so we're looking for an event we're looking for something right to happen and it doesn't always work that way sometimes their karma is their next relationship right if you understand and if you know then you know a lot of times these guys will dog out mistreat abuse um all that stuff really good people you know destroy them emotionally break them down and move on to their next victim um unless you get control 
and you exit the situation first, which I thank God every day that I was able to do. Um, but back to what I was saying, um, what I realized, like I said, over the years is that karma comes in the form of an individual sometimes. And the next relationship is where they get it. Like, they seriously, they really, really get it. They run into somebody who is their match and beyond. Like, the stuff they do to people is nothing. It looks like play play stuff compared to what this individual is going to put them through. And, you know, that's why I always say, like, sometimes when you see people going through things, and I have been, I have fallen victim to that too in the past. Like, I'm an empath. I used to feel sorry for people. Um, you know, you want to help, you want to save, you want to fix. Um, all these things, right? Um, this is why I always say sometimes when you see people going through things, it's their karma. That's just what it is. And you have to step out of the way and let karma deal with them because you get in the way and it can bounce off of them and onto you. And now you're the one absorbing all of their stuff. Yeah, sometimes when you see people going through things, it's their karma. So this situation with Danny and Corey, if it's true, because I'm assuming it is at this point, like she's releasing personal stuff. She's like, she's talking about things that could really get him into trouble. So I'm going to assume that this is not a skit and this is not for clout. Um, he just ran into somebody who is ready to meet, match that energy, right? And they're also saying that he kind of um snaked her went behind her back and met up with the Sherelle girl if you guys have been keeping up with that end of things the Sherelle girl and Danny have this like back and forth thing going on I think they even have some legal stuff going on um the Sherelle girl was um quote-unquote allegedly exposing Danny on TikTok and it's just been a lot so you know, if Corey did go and meet up with this girl, he fully knew, like, you know, what he was doing. That's another thing that, you know, people, narcissistic people like to do. Um, so, yeah, he would go and meet with the person that hates you the most and give her all your information or whatever information he thinks that she can use against you. Um, we've seen him do that with Carmen. He's weaponized her personal information um, against her. And now he was trying to do the same thing with Danny, except that this girl is a little bit different than Carmen. You see, Carmen is sparing you because she loved you and you're the father of her children. And if you win, you both win, everybody win, the children win, everybody win, the family wins. So she was not about to be sabotaging you and doing all this extra stuff. This girl don't know you from a can of paint. Like, you guys literally just started hanging out. You move into her house. She has all the power. That's another thing, right? Once you, once you, <laughs> once you open up that vulnerability to somebody who is just like you, it's only a matter of time before you're on the receiving end of, you know, a dose of your own medicine, right? Remember, Corey bagged up all of Carmen's things and the children's things and threw them outside, left them in the driveway or the curb or wherever he put them outside the house. And now look what's happening. This girl is like talking about burning his clothes, talking about um bonfires and all this stuff um she was re allegedly recording him moving out his things like it's her mansion you know he met her with all this stuff so when it's time for her to kick him out he's like literally leaving with the clothes on his back um she said things about his financial situation um, so yeah, like I said, you guys can check that out over on the team. That's a, you know, I'm not, I don't want to get into the, he said, she said, you don't know, nobody knows anybody's 
personal information like that anybody could say anything when people break up they say whatever um so i'm not really interested in in that part of it what you know corey's financial situation is and all that stuff that's kind of not my business um but i do i did want to talk about the karma and it's definitely karma you can only do so much for so long i always say that like you you can only do so much for so long before you know um the tables turn and when you are somebody who is extremely extremely um invested in destroying other people chances are you're gonna run into somebody who is like twice as bad um and that's how just that's just how that works so let me know what you guys think down below do you guys feel like you know Corey has met his match he's getting his karma his um you know let me know what you think in the comments down below if you made it to the end of this little mini reaction video don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and we'll catch up with you guys in another video stay up and stay blessed deuces